Hello and welcome to Who Won the Week, your weekly dose of TV advertising news and analysis. My name is Aaron Taub. I'm EDO's content marketing manager, and I am joined by a multi-time repeat guest, uh, Will Price, our VP of client development and our automotive advertising expert. Will, how was your 4th of July weekend? 4th was good. Celebrated with family. Uh, celebrated the 4th with a good old classic American beverage of beer and something that we're, I think we're going to talk about in this episode because we, we found a few uh, interesting takeaways from the, the beer category over the past week. That's right. And what's, what's been interesting, uh, I think, from what we've seen is that the summer season, we wrote a blog post about this recently, um, has seen a big spike in these spike seltzers and hard lemonades doing well. But when we look at some of these major sports events, these international sports events that we've been talking about lately, whether uh, they be, especially in soccer with Copa America and the Euros going on right now, we've seen just good old fashioned uh, light beers doing great. And uh, so let, let's jump into that. First, uh, as some people may know this, some people might not. It's Right now it's international soccer season. We've got the European championships happening in, in Europe and the uh, Copa America, which covers countries in North and South America, uh, happening simultaneously. So great time for soccer fans. And uh, first, let's start at the top. What, what's the value of these um, these tournaments to advertisers? Yeah, I think it's, one, it's a great time during the summer. Again, both huge tournaments happening at the same time. Uh, finals this Sunday, we have uh, football on Sunday, which is the way it's meant to be. Uh, but I think it's a great play for brands that are looking to get younger and more diverse. I mean, soccer has such a young fan base. My own kids, 11 and 8, they're huge Messi fans. Uh, so even though the U.S. has fallen out of Copa, you know, Messi is in the semifinals. Advertisers are going to be really excited to probably keep him in the tournament uh, to keep that Messi following. We've seen what he's done for MLS, building on the World Cup. So it's a great play for brands that are looking forward to their future, taking advantage of these growing segments of our population base to get younger, get more diverse. Uh, so, yeah, the brands that are really thinking about their future, are it's a smart play for them. Cool. And what are some of the brands uh, that we've seen, uh, particularly in the, in the beer category, that have, that have done well at uh, Copa and the Euros? Yeah, what's really interesting, we're seeing uh, a, a common high performance uh, in the beer category during both of these tournaments, specifically from Miller Lite uh, and Corona, and Corona uh, promoting their premier product. So their, their light beer, low carb, uh, directed towards a more active lifestyle. And what's really interesting is they took a baseball uh, approach, a baseball themed approach. So the typical play is normal soccer, contextual advertising, soccer ad for a soccer audience, but... Uh, both these brands went the baseball route, uh, and they both performed really well. So Miller Lite running on Unamas uh, performed 220% more effective than the average airing uh, within that tournament. And then Corona found similar success uh, with their spot where they performed, uh, you know, 248%, I'm sorry, 148% more effective than the average airing uh, during that tournament. So some really great success for those two brands taking a similar strategy, similar approach to reach that soccer audience. Yeah, that's 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 great to see. I love that uh, Miller Lite ad on Unamas with uh, Jorge Posada and David Ortiz arguing about a uh, great taste versus less filling yeah. in, in Spanish. Uh, great to see too. Uh, MLB rivals from my childhood, uh, you know, getting into it on TV. And uh, it's also uh, the summer season. We also got Wimbledon going on. Speaking of these sort of international sports tournaments, um, what brands are, are standing out there? Yeah, so interesting for Wimbledon. Uh, good old American Coors uh, is finding success during the tennis tournament of the summer. So they're uh, performing 65% more effective than the average airing during Wimbledon. Uh, so that silver bullet train is finding its way into the Wimbledon tournament and finding success for those audience. So again, uh, high performance during these tournaments, a lot at stake. Uh, and I think it's, you know, these viewing environments are very social in nature. So it's probably not a huge surprise that beer finds success within these tournaments. Uh, but just interesting to see different brands, similar approaches uh, for this category. So really great to see uh, for those brands. Cool. Um, so yeah, moving uh, from drinking to driving, uh, we don't advertise doing these things at the same time, but we will be talking about them on our show. 
Um, we recently released our top ads of the first half of, of 2024, where we looked at a wide range of categories uh, to note the ads that were most effective at generating uh, consumer engagement activities, such as searching for a brand online or visiting a website, which are highly correlated to future sales. Um, and so we thought we'd ask our auto expert to tell us a little bit about what happened in the luxury and non-luxury auto categories. What, what ads really stood out and drove the most engagement uh, during the first half of the year? Yeah, Aaron. So again, this isn't inclusive of all the terms we just talked about. We're looking at the first half of the year. So brands like Audi and BMW that are really leaning on these tournaments during the summer to find that younger, diverse audience and are finding some really great success, not included, but looking at the first half, uh, what we see are some some really interesting brands and, and campaigns rising to the top. So for the luxury category, we see the Lexus and their GX campaign. So the GX a, a new model, new product launch, but a long awaited product launch that has a very strong loyal following. They did a great job with the car. The campaign shows it really well. They've taken a, a, a very diverse approach in their casting. Uh, so I think it's a smart play again for them, tying into the conversation we just had about uh, the globalization of sports and international sports. So Lexus is finding success with this campaign, performing 388% more effective than the average uh, luxury auto ad in the first half of the year. And on the non-lux side, uh, we see a brand like Buick. Buick launched a new campaign during March Madness. Again, a great uh, environment, sports environment to find an engaged audience to really change perceptions about their brand. They're taking the design language. They're having people uh, relook at Buick. It is not the Buick of our grandfather's days anymore. They've taken a really strong, aggressive a new design approach. And I think it's getting people to be really curious about Buick, take a second look at Buick. It's a strategy that they've had for some time uh, to get people to pick up a second device after watching a Buick ad and and, and rethinking and, and really leaning into uh, what a Buick looks like and trying to learn more. So they're finding success. It's 136% more effective than the category average in the first half of the year. So uh, yeah, Buick should be very happy with this campaign to date. Very cool. And I think that's our show for the week. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. Uh, this is going to be our last episode of the season. Uh, and we're going to be taking a little time off this summer. But if you want to stay up to date with uh, EDO's marketing insights, all this great TV outcomes data we have, it's edo.com slash resources. We've got regular content updates. Um, you can sign up uh, for, for our weekly emails. We'll put a link on the screen for that. And um, yeah, if, if you have any feedback on the show, we'd love to hear it. Drop us a line at marketing at edoinc.com. Let us know what you liked about the show, what you might like to see on the show in the future. Um, Will, it's been wonderful having you here. As, as always, you always do such a great job. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Aaron. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always a pleasure. And uh, hope everyone has a great July and we'll, we'll talk to you soon.